morning guys welcome to angie blog today i have a very urgent collective message this morning welcome guys uh, good morning good afternoon good night well you're watching this um but yeah today i was guided to come here and give you guys a message so let's see what uh, spirit wants to tell you make sure also that you take what resonates and leave the rest okay um yeah so this might not resonate with everybody so let me just tap into what's the energy but yeah very interesting energy. happy astrological year for those who are into astrology <laughs> all the psychic readers as myself we're definitely feeling the aries uh, uh energy for sure um also i uploaded the how oh, nice welcome us with your presence <laughs> um yeah i also added the um, astrology weekly for this week on medium everything you need to know is in the description below okay so let's see spirit what do you want to tell the collective I really felt this energy where you know this like prophetic dream where i don't know if this is related to it but perhaps that's why they're like nudging me to talk about this okay so in the dream, there was a group of people and some of these people would uh, shift, like they would shift like their clothing, their faces and stuff like that. They, like every time you will look at them, they will look different. And there was like maybe seven or six people. And I feel like this is something that they used to do, like create, like, like be wearing a mask or creating this shield to protect themselves and stuff like that, or not protect themselves, more like mass, uh, something that they were doing behind the scenes kind of thing. Um, they were also trying to, you could tell that they were plotting something against somebody or something because it was like, they were laughing at somebody or something. I don't know, they were looking at something in their phone. It was a phone or was on, on a laptop or something. Like they will sit around and like, it looked like a coffee shop too. I, but that's what it will shift the, sh the 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 dream will shift like they will be in a coffee shop or they will be somewhere like i don't know like a workplace or something but i don't know I, all i'm hearing is that in the dream it was like uh those who laugh last last better right like these people were laughing at someone and making fun of someone or like thinking or taking someone for granted or something and and now i feel like they're not gonna be laughing now I'm just putting it out there. There's a lot of these cards are a lot in reverse. I'm gonna talk with them again, but yeah, the energy is very but then again we're in that month, like we're almost at the end of the March, right? And now it's like you know, it's the Easter season or Easter season is next month or so, but it's like a lot of people like their demons are coming out, you know. And I'm also hearing that a lot too, like every single day is like your light irritates our demons like some of you are you know very healing energy very kind very generous you know you're not going after people you're not doing evil stuff to other people but these people are just jealous and envious of you so yeah they're just plotting against you yeah see this woman holding a coin there's somebody who probably has income or something but uh, you know she looks like somebody very like greedy and selfish because there's people who can have money and they do something good with it for example they give half of their portion of their money to donations to organizations and stuff like that they do something for others they're not greedy or selfish or materialistic you know but there's some who are very conniving and very materialistic and they do things to manipulate and control people so i feel like this is the energy of like there's some women who are like very toxic with their money and they portray that and project that to other people again see with the angel of love they really it's it could be that this person has some type of demonic uh, entity inside and then it bothers them that these angels earth angels or some of you who are earth angels are speaking the truth are probably you know revealing what this person is doing behind the scenes that they don't want people to know right see with the temple of um of path in reverse it's like yeah this person is going to 
uh, not into, you know, not learning the lessons, not going into their spiritual path, you know, um, really creating a lot of bad karma for themselves, really, you know, while this person, this angel of love is just creating more love for themselves, like healing themselves, healing their heart, you know, giving love to others and be there for the community, their families. Yeah. Also, this person is trying to create some type of attachment or bond, keep somebody bound. Perhaps this person is um, trying to, um, yeah, this person has something vindictive against this angel of love or somebody who portrays that energy of like really loving and caring and stuff like that. Like, yeah, somebody here doesn't really like somebody here. And then you have the attachment and at the bottom of the deck, you have the door of, yeah. Yeah, somebody's causing or trying to because it's in reverse. Yeah, somebody can't let go of somebody or something like that. Like here is very strange energy. The attachment with the five is usually like, it's like change, you know, like it's time to let go of attachment or let go of what doesn't serve you. Or if you're attached to this woman with just because of their money, it's like, and they're toxic and they don't want to help they don't want to change and they want to continue keep you bound and stuff like that like you see that do doors to personal healing and happiness is blocked either for you or this is for this person who's been doing things behind your back the angel of strength someone's trying to get somebody sick here yeah because you have the healing and the happiness in reverse yeah this person see they're create, trying to create anxiety in your life it's in reverse. Now they are getting all the stuff that they wish on you or they pay somebody to do this on you. They're getting it back. Some of you could be receiving a new love. Yeah, some of you are not resting or like really burnt out. Others of you are in stagnant energy. Wow, there's so many energies going on here. Some of you are really happy with your life with what you have all those of you healing your heart wow okay but yeah there's somebody here who doesn't want you guys to to be happy or to find love or something like that it's a weird energy but let's see into tarot let's see what tarot wants to tell you us Right, angels and ancestors, please let us know this white light. Please let us know what we want to see for the collective. Let us protect them and favor against me. Anything negative or evil, my intention to get back to center. It's like they get away with things because they're they have beauty that they use their beauty for you know to mask their evil conniving and sneaky energy but you see with the seven of swords it's like yeah anyways collector there's somebody here in your energy connected to your energy that spirit wants to warn you that they are very sneaky energy okay there's some lying, deceiving energy that if you're not aware of, you must, you know, you need to use discernment because they're like plotting against you or something. But let's, let me dive deeper in here. Sorry the noise. Usually in the morning in this building they clean and do vacuum and stuff. So if you're hearing that, that's what it is.
Okay, so I'm getting that some of you are really letting go of, or recently done it, uh, letting go of something like, it's like you, your intuition's been telling you about this, like you knew for a long time that you shouldn't be around this person, these people, this job, this environment, whoever it is, this family member, whoever it is, because it's like, they were trying to keep you stuck. Like they were constantly uh, confusing you, right? And right now, if you were in a relationship or you recently just broke up with somebody, you know, right now you're in the nine of pentacles going into the 10 of pentacles because there's somebody here that wants to come in and offer some type of apology, some type of, um, some type of love offer or something like that. But I feel like this person had to like overcome a lot of, um, you know, just like all of us, like karmic uh, situation, uh, something that wasn't, you know, beneficial for them. It's like they knew that they have to go through this um, uh, cycle. And I also, it's like maybe in the past, you know, they, they thought that, you know, it's like you weren't good enough kind of thing. Like they saw you, but I feel like spirit, like, uh, make sure that your abundance or like who you are was hidden to them because it's like, they knew who, what their heart was like. Like, I feel like this person always got away with things because they're like, you know, good looking. They, you know, they, you know, but they have this like envious, jealous energy, you know, and also they have done, they have stabbed you in the back in the past. So take it how it is. And I don't know if this is somebody that you want to take back again or, or, but I see with the temperance card, like, I feel like, like spirit or literally God is trying to balance this out because this got a lot out of control especially with um with the seven of sword and you have the devil card here like this person had to overcome some type of addiction some type of controlling um with the king of swords i i feel like this person is a little bit with the ten of wands it's like it's like you knew that this person was a little bit of narcissistic abuser and kind of an emotional manipulator um they could have money you know with the ten of pentacles but i feel like this person was trapped in their own mind like with the nine of swords in reverse here and then you have the nine of pentacles it's like it's like they thought like okay well they're single and abundant and you know i can still continue doing things behind their back being sneaky and stuff like you know i'm young or whatever i need to enjoy my life or whatever but this person like knew that they were meant to be with you if that makes sense and like with the five of swords it's like something didn't work out for them like they were really doing things that at the end of the day didn't didn't help them in the end i feel like this person broke their own heart by trying to betray you or letting whoever you know break down this twin flame or soulmate or whatever this is like they were literally bound to the devil with the seven of pentacles and i feel like they collaborated with other people to keep you uh stuck to keep you not a, be able to move forward but now they want to come in and apologize because now they see that you're the ten of pentacles that you were the the ten of pentacles for them you know the ultimate fulfillment the family the generational wealth you know and I feel this is why um, spirit kept you hidden is because they wanted to test this person to see if this person, yeah, they're very materialistic. And yeah, they bring a lot of burdens into, like this person is really like stressed out because they know that now you're balanced, you're healed, you're stable, you're very beautiful. And I feel like even though they were trying to keep you bound or trapped or create some type of chaos magic or conflict in your mind, 
it didn't work you know like we were still here in the three of cups celebrating being happy you know and soon you will be celebrating like you have a stability and also the here the ten of cups uh, I feel like you're the kind of person that have found your own ultimate fulfillment. You overcome a lot of uh, karmic cycles pretty much by yourself, not really anybody helping you. Um, you also not bound to any addictions, devil energy. You don't do stuff behind your back or other people. You, you're just focused on your own lane, on your business or your finances if you have a business or whatever it is that you're uh, working on that's that's what you're doing and with the tempers you're an earth angel so this person is like but spirit did this on purpose the spirit hide this earth angel uh from this king of souls because they wanted to test him to you know for the vanity their greed their selfishness and yeah they fall for it like they decided to walk away from you and yeah that's really it they decided to walk away from you because they thought that you weren't wealthy, that you weren't good enough, that, you know, and also after they noticed that you started like rising from whatever they were trying to keep you in and collaborated with other people, you still were balanced. You were still successful. You were still happy. Like this is somebody very jealous and envious of you. And of you. Also, I feel like this person was using your energy um to create whatever it is that they were creating for example let's say this person i started a business well they were taking your energy harnessing your energy somehow really dark energy here guys with this king of swords with other people to kind of either sleep with other women or women or men um and use it for wrong really they use it for really bad okay but i feel like you've healed from this like you you're somebody who like didn't stay in this energy didn't stay waiting for them yeah there was a tower moment there was something that happened that made you realize like wait this is not you know and also that too is like because of this tower moment, because you took your power back, now everything is crumbling for this person. Their business, whatever they were using to from your energy is crumbling down. Yeah. Now they want to offer you some type of love offer an apology or something like that but i feel like it's too late like you guys moved on yeah with the six of pentacles it's like like you know it's going to be one-sided uh thing like you're just gonna be confused and again back into this just low vibration energy you see you have the higher font and the and the five of cups but you see they have you have the five of wands like like they want to offer you like an apology or some type of marriage or something like that like they want to rush in fast because it's like this person feels it that you like moved on and also like there could be somebody new here okay with the ace of cup there's someone new and i feel like this person feels it like intensely with the four of wands it's like i feel like if this person was your twin flame it's a very toxic twin flame okay um but you know twin flames you're one right and this person and i feel like divine literally cut this off it's not like they can cut it off it's kind of like they took away well once you took, decided to take away your energy you decided this right away things starting to fall apart with this person but i feel like this person is still trying to keep you bound we saw the attachment card yeah they're still trying to keep you bound to them and trying to access to to you telepathically so i would definitely suggest and continue you know staging doing moon bath your baths, your south bath um continue cleansing yourself daily honestly and meditate pray to god you know like because this is not a good person okay this person i feel like they're very narcissistic abuse and also they don't want to change like I don't see change here. I feel like, yeah, you see with the five of wands, like that's all they bring, conflict, 
uh, drama, competition, like, yeah. Six of Cups, it's not your soulmate. It's not a soulmate, it's not your twin flame. This person is not for you, you know? Anyways, confirm with God first and see if this is the right message for you. But this person, yeah, they're in regret and in grief right now because they can't believe that they messed up with that earth angel. And I feel like they collaborated with other people to mess this person up. Yeah, you're the empress and the wooden warrior and the high priestess. Yeah, you know this. You guys know this. This is just a confirmation. You see, with the high priestess fell with the ten of wands and the temperance. Yeah, you know this. You know this person has done many things behind your back. Could have paid a practitioner or somebody to mess your finances. If let's say you started a new business or something, they've been are they are the main cause of most of the things that go wrong in your in your life. Because you know usually things happen. You know, fail is normal and stuff like that. But when someone actually intentionally does it and creates this type of uh, energy for you on a daily basis, like this person is, I don't know what they do with their life, but they're so focused in your energy like they could have lost a job they could have lost a lot of things and they're still in your energy like this person has nothing to do other than trying to keep you stuck that you don't they don't move on you know and that too is like you're guarding about this you're not um Yeah, you're not letting this person, like, yeah, some of you guarded your heart. Yeah, you're the empress and the high priestess. Yeah, you're, you're very beautiful. You're very abundant. You, yeah, you hold all the secrets. You hold a lot of, you know, it's like, you know, you know what this person has been doing. And they think that they just want to come in and pretend like, you know, I didn't do that. It's probably blaming other people, not taking accountability for their shit. They they also, I feel like they know this with the Five of Cups. And yeah, it's a no with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're not taking this chance, this opportunity with this person. Whatever this person is trying to come in, like give you, trying to give you a passion, new beginning and stuff like that. Like, no, you're not doing this. You say no. Like your energy here is clear, like you made your decision. Yeah, with the strength card in reverse. Yeah, you see? And the hermit, oh wow, and the five of pentacles. Yeah, you have an emperor that is coming in that already made their decision. For example, this person could have taken a long time to make their mind and they probably had a lot of third parties. They were, their energy is very dark so let's say you see this person in real life or you haven't met them yet or you haven't had contact with them and let's say you see them now it's like you cannot know you just know like their energy is so dark it's so i don't know it's just not it's just not healed not uh, it's just yeah and they could be sick right now i mean due to all the chaos magic or all this stuff like literally all the stuff that they have uh projected to you or send you evil eye and stuff like that it's like going back to them 10 times fold okay yeah you see they have the king of pentacles yeah you see this, this person has money this person has used all their pretty much all their money to try to keep you stuck uh for you not to move on with a new person or because they're very selfish they're very greedy and selfish and yeah, they're sick now. And this is spirit saying six of soul, move on from that energy. That from that chaos to um rougher waters, you know. It's time to heal also. I feel like you see with um it's like somebody in the boat and then this person watching them, it's like it's done. You guys are done with this energy. Like you're moving on, which is good. Yeah. Some of you are in the hermit mode, or it could be this person, but I feel like this is you. Now, signs that you might look out for is the air signs, uh, earth signs, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, with the devil card. A lot of air signs here. Leo could be significant. Guys, also, like, I feel like there's no passion here. Like, there's no love here. Because... 
It's like you have the Ten of Wands. Like this person doesn't love you. It's like, I don't even know if they were like the right twin flame for you or like this person like fall from grace or something like that. Like this person is at this grace in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they lost everything. Like they're not protected by the divine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see you have the five of pentacles here. Like they were trying to leave you in the cold or you guys are leaving this person in the cold. And you're healing. You're healing for anything this person have done. Also, this person could be in jail too. Or spiritual jail. Just being honest here. Like they're living through hell right now. And right now there's... Um, yeah, with the Ace of Swords, there's some truth and clarity. You have this Emperor... Yeah, it could be, they could be an emperor too, because you're the empress here. Yeah, this was your twin flame. But it's like four in reverse, four of wands in reverse, the devil card. Yeah, I know. Very bad. It, yeah, they were juggling with you. They decided to juggle, like, oh, that person is my person. And they knew, but they're like, oh, no, but I'm just going to go have fun and deal with all these entities, low vibrational energy. And now they like, probably are bound to the devil like the devil is here to collect from this person like it's bad but you guys know this you're aware of this like yeah see whatever they were trying to do six of wands they weren't successful and they're stuck now they don't know what to do with the hangman they're stuck they but then again they cause all of this bad karma all these things to themselves yeah with the seven of cups in reverse they were trying to create some illusions or uh, yeah they were having a lot of options and stuff like that like yeah they were just yeah with the world card they don't want this to end it's like they don't want to like they know all this shit stuff that they've done to you but they're so selfish and greedy that they don't care they are trying to still keep you bound like they don't want to close the cycle with the world card in reverse but they have to or you you already closed this you already moved on from this yeah with the ace of swords yeah it's the truth because you know the truth there's something a clarity of truth or something that it has been revealed to you that's why you know see you have the king of cups in reverse and the death the sun card yeah they're not happy oh my god the, the moon card in reverse the knight of swords Yeah, this person is trying to affect your love life now like they don't want they are with other people for sure by now they could be married they could be you know already stuck with someone but they're still stuck in your energy like they harness in your energy like they they were addicted to that like all the things that they were getting is through your energy because back then perhaps you weren't awakened you didn't know what was happening to you and how this person was harnessing your energy but now you know now you're aware now you know how to protect yourself now you are protecting yourself with the nine of wands you are the wounded warrior, warrior but you know you know better now yeah they're also trying to cause death to your new person so spirits letting me know i guess this is why i'm here to let you guys know if you do have someone new after healing this aspect healing this situation uh divine is saying please do not talk about your new person don't tell anybody about your new person like literally because the devil is trying to find out who your new person is literally the person that got that's why i haven't been able to see this person this this person is hidden for a reason okay this person it's not meant to be known to yet because for protection reasons um especially the devil is going after you guys and yeah this person is one of the catalysts one of the literally the devil engine to trying to cause some death and unhappiness they don't want to see you happy they want you to lose all your money and I feel like this person is gonna fake giving you some type of opportunity or something like that to keep you trapped. So guys, use discernment, okay? Be careful because it's 
yeah you have the knight of cups energy yeah somebody very emotional disturbed like seriously like it's pretty sick like this person could be those people that have everything given to them like they don't they never lose anything you know so losing you is like you know what like i don't know i feel like this is a very competitive energy here too which is just a lot of lack just a lot of lack mentality lack of insecurity uh they don't want to move on because it's like they feel like you're like their toy kind of thing which is kind of sick you're not a toy right you're a person what the fuck but that's how they see it yeah something has been revealed with the moon card yeah you're no longer confused you're in this king of, uh, queen of swords in reverse Yeah, see? Some injustice. Something like this person is still doing this. There's an injustice here. Like this person still thinks that they're gonna get away with it, but like Divine is saying, like literally the Holy Spirit is like, it's the end, even though they don't want to. See? Look, you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and you have this King of Cups. I feel like this person with the ace of pentacles in reverse is like they stop paying whoever this king of pentacles queen of pentacles it's um it's a like gold digger energy honestly i'm just gonna be straight up with you this person is hungry uh power hungry money hungry uh very selfish not loyal not committed you know and i feel like yeah that's what they they chose over you okay could be this king of cups who also is the king of pentacles yeah, see, they were keeping this person trapped in their mind, not able to move forward with the chariot card. This could be your new person. Maybe that's the energy that's coming in, or this could be the older, um, your old energy that's still attached to you. But that's why it's because they did something fucked up behind your back with this Queen of Pentacles, and now. They realize what they've done. They literally jeopardize their divine counterpart. You know, they, and this is like, this person ancestors, they're so pissed off. Like, they're not happy with this person. And this person could be really facing some spiritual jail or actual jail. Like, they did too much. This Queen of Pentacles and this guy, who also could be the King of Pentacles, who also had uh, some type of money, some type of income or something. But now it's like, yeah, judgment. I feel like some of you have called out this person. Perhaps you spoke about it, you talk about it with other people or something, but I feel like this person with the judgment card, yeah, it's, see the Wheel of Fortune? Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. And you have the injustice here yeah it's really bad karma for this person for these two people who try to jeopardize you as well whatever they were trying to do to you is coming back to them and with the ace of swords i know that spirit letting me know it's the truth that i'm speaking the truth here you call judgment on this you know what they were doing that's why some of you could have blocked this person ghosted this person like you knew what they were doing and you decided to heal yourself. Yeah, somebody's here left on the cold and you're getting good fortune now. Like you're getting, yeah, this person, there you go. The queen of pentacles, the queen of, queen of cups and the nine of cups, someone very greedy and selfish. Lack emotion, lack empathy. Yeah, see the fool in reverse there's no new beginning there's nothing new that has kind of come out of this and they know this this person knows this yeah with the sun card in reverse yeah they're not happy someone's not happy here oh well i mean it is what it is like you you know what i'm saying like yeah it's now you see with the eight of wands they want to communicate i feel like this person is at a distance yeah the page of wands Oh my god yeah they want to communicate with you 
But with the page of wands in reverse, I feel like something here. Oh no, no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. They want to communicate with you. Okay, so the vine is saying by all means, even though this person might try to beg or something like that, like, like they're gonna try to communicate with, with you somehow, even though you blocked it and stuff like that. They like might send you an email or something like that. Like the vine is saying, stay away from this person because look. They want to offer you some fake ass uh, offer or something or talk to you passionately or whatever but you see it's a ten of swords this is something that they are used to doing and they do it over and over and over again betraying this is the ultimate betrayal this person has betrayed betray you in the past they have paid people to betray you to stab you multiple times to keep you bound trapped because this person also has a jealous envious like spirit like evil yeah this person is bound to the devil see the four of pentacles here they want to keep you like that the, they want to keep you stuck like they want to keep you like very selfish they don't want you to move on from their energy they don't want you to move on with someone new they don't want you to be happy they don't want you to you know like what the hell so selfish yeah you see you block this person the page of swords like now they can't watch it they can't see it but they are creating all the fake accounts to either social media or something like that i don't know somehow this person is watching if you have a youtube channel or something like that this person is watching you constantly also they're watching it to see if whatever they're doing with this person that they're still with by the way they want to come in and tell you that they're they they have changed that they they have left the other person but it's not true they're still attached with this person they're still in cahoot and working with this person against you yeah, the four of swords with the seven of pentacles. Right now you're healing, you're resting, you're working. Like whatever these people are doing, you're it's like regenerating. And whatever they're doing, see? The seven of pentacles says you reap what you sow, okay? So this person, it's literally, this is their energy. They have created all this chaos, all these things that's happening to them. They're going to lose everything by themselves. You didn't do anything. Now, they could have this other person who's still attached to them telling them that, it's you who's doing this to them. But it's not the truth. You're so focused on your own life. You're single, you're beautiful, abundant. You could be birthing something new. You could be a mother. You could be a wife or soon to be a wife, engaged or something like that. You could be pregnant, some of you, or, or not necessarily you could yeah you someone very like you focus on here like these people have no life like this person has no fucking life they both do all these people have no fucking life yeah the eight of pentacles in reverse they don't work they don't work they don't do anything and if they do it's like try it's just trying to jeopardize you probably gang stalk you with other people like trying to jeopardize you and stuff like that like this is very like yeah see with the two of cups and the star yeah that's what it is because they're mad because you're not like you know you, it's that's not your soulmate and also they're trying to affect your whoever's coming in you which he hasn't come he or she hasn't pop out here which is why divine is saying it's protected okay there's a reason why this is protected and it must stay protected so don't post on social media. Don't tell people anything about your new person. I am telling you right now, it's for your divine protection for that connection of the two of you, okay? Especially you're in the nine of pentacles. You're literally almost there to your 10 of pentacles and this person knows it. This person feels it like in your whole core. Like that's what they're trying to jeopardize and trying to come into your energy. They know that they're not gonna benefit from you after you've met your person. That's why it's saying you're the star, you're a star seed. It's time to heal. Yeah, you see the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're the star. I feel like you're someone in the public eye or something like that. Yeah, with the Empress and the star. Yeah, this person is... They could be also be in the public eye or something like that. But it's like not in a good way. Like fake as fuck. They use uh, illusion magic. Yeah, you see? Queen of Wands. Who's this Queen of Wands spirit? Yeah, they also have somebody. Yeah, Seven of Wands, not protected. Someone very, they have a lust energy, these two people. They could have lust evil spirit in them. Yeah, they're bound to the devil. 
because the queen of wands is in a low in a higher vibration is someone very it's like a warrior right someone who a go-getter gets what things done you know does things that it needs to be done but in a low vibration with the seven of wands it's somebody who's into dark magic witchcraft uh very promiscuous very lustful energy yeah with the seven of wands they're not protected someone here is not protected and i feel like this queen of wands is also trying to jeopardize this star here this could be a, a completely different person it could be a sister it could be a a co-worker a friend ex-friend obviously but they're not protected because i feel like yeah this is a different energy yeah you made the decision you're two the ones you're no longer in that stalemate energy you keep moving forward yeah the two of one is starting something new continue focusing on yourself you know not looking at anybody their business or something like you're minding your own business you know what i'm saying yeah you're focusing on this that's what you're you want you want your wish fulfillment you're focusing on your ten of cups which that's what it is it hasn't popped up yet it's because this person is like literally fighting for you also in the spiritual realm okay this could be you too like you have some serious people like sending you some bad stuff because it's like it bothers them your life bothers them whatever it is that you're doing continue doing it these people are just low vibration yeah but the four of cups yeah it's you're rejecting this energy you're not you know some of you it's like you know whatever i lost okay i'm gonna focus on whatever i have right now which is good enough right with the two of swords you're not longer confused you know exactly where you want to go this is the first time you're like this too because it's like whatever magic or witchcraft that they have done to you to keep you confused to keep you trapped it's broken it's done it doesn't work that's why they're yeah the lover's card in reverse and the page of pentacles yeah they you know this offer that is coming you know this they're trying to offer you some type of love or something they're trying to tell you that they broke up with their person or whatever but they didn't see the magician is here with the nine of cups in reverse and the nine of swords yeah you see the three of swords is like heartbreak you guys are healed from this heartbreak and the moon yeah everything has been revealed to you guys like you guys know that this person, it's not a good um, investment or friend, partnership, collaboration, lover, whatever it is. Like this person, and you do have somebody who wants to come in. This nine of wands and the king of wands, you see? Somebody very passionate, um, could be a, a fire sign, um, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo. Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, but you can also have water signs. Actually, all the signs are here, honestly. But basically, the divine is saying, make sure that you're keeping protected, keep those boundaries up, you know, and whatever this person is doing, it's not working, okay? Yeah, they don't want you to walk away, but it's like, it's time to move on, okay? Because you do have somebody who actually cares for you, who will take care of you, who's been taking care of you behind the scenes believe it or not okay so i'm sending you guys so much love make sure you like and comment and subscribe and uh yeah good luck with this okay make sure that you continue cleansing yourself okay and don't let this person or whoever these people are trying to take advantage of your kindness okay okay i'm sending you so much love yeah Pray for this before, you know, pray and make sure that God confirms with you who is the right person for you because I feel like this person is going to try to deceive you, okay? Bye.